Google and Samsung dropped the newest smartphones within a day of each other, both falling into a similar price bracket. Consumers are likely itching to know which one allows better with their preferences. Enter the Pixel 8, Google's more compact flagship of the two bolting nearly identical hardware to its bigger counterpart. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S23 FE marks a comeback, filling the gap left by the absence of an update for the Galaxy S21 FE last year. Let's dive into the details and figure out which phone takes the crown. Starting with the design, if you glance at the front of both phones they share a striking resemblance featuring rounded rectangular screens and the punch hole style camera neatly positioned at the screen's top middle. Distinguishing them from the front is no easy feat, however, if you flip them over each phone proudly displays its maker's distinct design philosophy. The Pixel 8 rocks a camera bar sprawled across its back while Samsung adheres to its signature 3 camera layout. Now, beyond the camera setup, the divergence and overall design are minimal. Google opts for a power button purge to top the volume rocker while Samsung flips the script with the Galaxy S23 FE. Additionally, the edges of the Galaxy S23 FE have a tad more flatness compared to the Pixel 8 Pro. In terms of size and weight, the Samsung phone does tip the scales a bit more and has a slightly larger footprint but the difference won't be a game-changer holding either device should yield a similar feel. It's worth noting that both phones skip the headphone jack and the micro SD card slot. Samsung has consistently held the reputation for delivering top-notch displays and the Galaxy S23 FE is no exception. Boasting an FHD Plus screen with adaptive refresh rates reaching up to 120Hz. It employs the same AMOLED 2X screen found in other Galaxy S23 models ensuring a peak brightness of 1450 nits. On the Google front, they've opted for an actual OLED display this time around matching Samsung's FHD resolution and offering adaptive refresh rates of up to 120Hz. Notably, Google takes a brightness lead heating 2000 nits. While the Pixel 8 Pro display goes even further with increased brightness and a broader range of adaptive refresh rates, the Pixel 8 screen still stands strong and impressive. The Google Pixel 8 is powered by Google's freshest SLC the Google Tensor G3. On the flip side, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE relies on Qualcomm's 2022 flagship the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The intrigue here lies in the comparison. Google Tensors are typically considered less potent than their Snapdragon counterparts but the plot thickens when we were comparing last year's Snapdragon to this year's Tensor which narrows the performance gap when it comes to raw metrics. Regardless of your phone choice, most everyday tasks will zip along with smooth and responsive performance. Thankfully, we're far from the era of sluggish CPUs, so activities like watching YouTubers scrolling through Instagram post no challenge for flagship phones regardless of the brand. Even diving into mobile gaming should be a breeze on either device though things might heat up a bit if you're tackling a more demanding game. To notice any substantial divergence between these phones you need to put them through their paces. Considering the leap in generations, there is a chance that the Google Tensor G3 might outshine the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Especially in tasks heavily reliant on artificial intelligence, a trend gaining prominence. Taking this into account, our inclination is towards the Pixel 8 as the more well-rounded and better equipped device. When it comes to cameras, this is where the pads begin to diverge for these two smartphones. Google's flagship phones have consistently delivered top-tier photography and the latest edition is no exception. The Pixel 8 boosts the powerful camera setup, featuring a 50-megapixel rear shooter with an impressive f-stop 1.68 aperture and 2x optical zoom. Accompanying this is a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera sporting an f-stop 2.2 aperture. What truly sets Google's photography apart is the exceptional image post-processing enhanced by AI intelligence ensuring that each photo radiates brilliance. The Samsung Galaxy S23 FE holds its ground with a robust triple camera setup. It has a 50-megapixel primary shooter a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens and an 8-megapixel till photo lens each posting f-stop 1.8, 2.2 and f-stop 2.4 apertures respectively. Notably, the telephoto lens offers a 3x optical zoom. Both camera systems excel at capturing impressive daytime shots and commendable nighttime photos particularly when leveraging the night mode feature. 
However, when it comes to the final verdict, the Pixel 8 clinches the win. Google's post-processing PR is truly in a league of its own particularly shining in low-light conditions. This holds true even for the front camera which may seem evenly matched on paper between the two phones but often produces superior results on the Pixel. While the Galaxy S23 FE does deliver outstanding photos, the Google software wizard re-adds that extra touch of magic. Now in the realm of pricing, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE comes in at $599 while the Google Pixel 8 demands a slightly higher investment at $699. In short, you've got two budget-friendly phones that cater to distinct preferences. The Google Pixel 8 stands out as the go-to choice for everyday use and while it packs a few cameras and Google Tensor CPUs may not be synonymous with powerhouse performance the advantage of a generation newer Tensor G3 potentially levels the playing field in this comparison. On the flip side, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE holds its ground impressively, especially considering its $100 lower price tag. With the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 under the hood, it's still a robust performer capable of handling the latest mobile games. Samsung's press and camera technology ensures you won't be sacrificing photo quality either. Opting for the S23 FE lets you save some cash without making significant compromises, making it an intriguing alternative.